Hi, fourth grade, it's Mrs. Boswell again, and we're going to do the Earth Dragon Awakes, the San Francisco earthquake of 1906. And today it says, I can sequence events in a story, and we're going to be using a timeline. Okay, sequencing is putting things in order, putting things in order, the order of events in a story, like first, next, then, finally. Okay, clue words that you might notice are first, next, then, finally, before, after, later, at last, afterward, eventually, meanwhile, and the next day. So Monday, you guys read this story. Tuesday, you guys listened to this story. I'm sorry. Tuesday, you guys read the story. Wednesday, you listened to the story. And today, you guys are going to be sequencing this story. So it says we're going to use a timeline to help us sequence um, the Earth Dragon Awakes. And it says, a timeline can be used to record events that have happened a long time ago and events that have happened more recently. Okay, You're going to notice that on this timeline, it has dates. Okay, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, okay. Um, underneath each of these is a description, and then they also included a photo, which is what you guys are going to do today. So I'm gonna show you an example of a timeline, and I thought, well, most of you know what iPhones are, so here is a timeline of the iPhones. So the first iPhone came out in 2007, okay, and it was just called the iPhone. The next one came out um, in 2008 and was called the iPhone 3G. Okay, and then it kind of just went there from year to year. So if you notice, they have an image. They tell me what it is and what year. Okay, and it goes from 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017. Okay, and the one in 2017 was the iPhone X. And if many of you know, they already have another one out. So you can tell that that's not even on here. But look at how the iPhone has changed from year to year. And I love that they provide that picture because that's kind of important. And I also noticed that when the years changes, so did the name of the iPhone. So this one was iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, and it kind of just goes from there. So that's just interesting that it changes just a little bit. So that's an example of a timeline. Today you guys are going to do one. And what I've done is I've provided the time for you. So I have 5.12 a.m., 5.15 a.m., 5.20 a.m., and then 6 o'clock a.m. What you're going to do here in the boxes, this is where you're going to put your text. This is where you're going to provide the information. I want you to just give me, tell me what happened. What was the event at 5.12 a.m.? What was the next event that happened at 5.15 a.m.? Okay, and then the next event at 5.20, and then the last event at 6 a.m. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to add pictures, and you can add pictures kind of here to the side, or up above, or below, but just make sure you kind of connect it. Hint, you can take pictures with your iPad and then insert that photo in here. So if you wanna take pictures from the book, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay, just use your, take pictures of it and then come back and add it. So it says the times are provided from the story. Add important information from each event on the timeline. Add a picture from the story to go with each event. Okay, good luck with this today.